can survive infidelity some do can a confrontational person and a non-confrontational person be in a healthy relationship yes it's all about respecting each other all about respecting each other hello she's back she never goes far she never stays away for long I like you too much you guys I like you too much hi Hello, Shanti. I forget that the clothes I wear has an effect on how well you guys can actually read the text. Amanda Pilot followed the host. Thank you, my love. Where are my newbies? How well? Do we got some newbies in here? Do we have some new people? Say hi here. Do we got some newbies in here? Have some new people say hi here. Do we got some newbies in here? Do we have how can how can communicate better in a relationship? So communicating better really does start with taking responsibility for your behaviors and your emotions so that your communication is actually efficient. Uh, when you over communicate instead of actually dealing with yourself so you have to tell your partner about every fear every insecurity every thought and constantly be asking for reassurance instead of you ever being your own solution that's too much communicating right it's instead of talking about everything like in essence vomiting everything i have too much fear bleh. i have too much anxiety bleh right so you're not dealing with your emotions you're letting them build up and then you vomit them on your partner and you go here's a mess deal with it so when you do the work that i give you to do whether you're reading my books you're watching my tiktoks you, you go through the link to my bio see that meditation resource button get started on meditation when you do the work that i give you your fear and and anxiety actually starts to physically reduce so if you're not overabundant in fear, stress, and anxiety, it means you're not vomiting that onto your partner going, here's a mess, deal with it. So uh, where can I find the session audiobook? In the link tree in my bio. Uh, so how can communication get better in a relationship? First of all, by eliminating the unnecessary communications, by isolating the things you can actually fix yourself and fixing them instead of vomiting them into your relationship. Uh, another thing you can do, and, and this, this helps you with that, is create emotional security in the relationship. This encourages your partner to talk more because they feel safe enough to talk more. I need to work on that. If you need to work on that, fix that shit. So you can get all my books on Amazon, but if you want an audio book, fix that shit is the only one that's available right now. You can only get it through the link tree in my bio. I find I'm too confrontational and then almost to allowing how to work on boundaries. So I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, there's So there would be stuff to unpack, there would be nuances to unpack. Um, how much how much are you raising your one-on-one -on -one sessions so the price hack um how much how much hack raising your one-on-one -on -one sessions so the price hack um how much how much are you raising your question uh the price has gone up for that i just do video sessions now i don't i don't do the voice only sessions anymore i need to get a lot more um uh, I need I need I need to get a lot more efficient with my time because I'm back at writing books um, so my first book of the year is almost published uh, the editing is done the writing is done it's getting format is getting prettied up basically by the rest of my team um, so and and actually the one thing I've been saying like for the past year I would make so much more money if I was less efficient so I definitely have been undercharging for how you know how quickly I can move people through their issues uh, is it okay to want to just have fun and not looking for a dating or marriage absolutely absolutely but you have to be honest about that 
How do you create emotional safety in a relationship? You start taking responsibility for your behaviors, your emotions. You give your partner room to be human, to communicate. Fix that shit walks you through the whole process. It's 50 chapters, you guys. Like literally there's 50 steps to creating emotional security in a relationship, but each one is very easy. Uh, seeing a guy, he was at the hospital. I apologize for not texting me, but it's okay. He won't communicate and says he shouldn't have to change. I call it maturing. Uh, your thoughts. So we tend to want men to communicate the way we do. Uh, I don't know what you mean by communicate. Like, uh, you know, like you want him to tell you when he's going somewhere, but he refuses to do that. Or what is it specifically that he needs to communicate? Do you think you need to love yourself before entering a relationship? Yeah, you do need to raise your self-esteem and confidence because if you go into a relationship with low self-esteem and confidence, then you become controlling um, because what you want to do is you want to fit your partner's behavior within a certain box to give you comfort. Uh, so you control their words, you control who they talk to, you control where they go. Um, so you do need to elevate your self-love. Um, that way you are better able to let your partner be an individual and a human being. I love seeing you live whenever I feel anxious. How to stop arguing over things that don't matter, like not relationship things, just random stuff. You do what I call the communication uh, flow chart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you guys a communication flow chart, okay? You were so helpful in your one-on-one -on -one session. I'll be putting great feedback. Yay! Oh, I got an email about it. Thank you, my love. I appreciate that. Thank you, this rocks. Okay, guys, communication flowchart. Are you ready? Who, by the way, who's taking notes right now? Who's showing up with like pen and paper right now? Say, I am. Who's got pen and paper right now? So all of the above seems like he just wants to keep everything a secret. Are you with a selfish short-term thinker or a generous long-term thinker? If you don't know, you have to go through, <laughs> girl, I'm ready. Uh, look at all the IMs. Um, if you don't know if you're with a selfish short-term thinker, you have to go through the 12 character traits and no more assholes or get a session so I can go through the 12 character traits with you. Um, so so that you can assess if you're with a selfish short-term thinker because a lot of you guys are getting into relationships with selfish short-term thinkers and like how can i make this work and it's like you're with the wrong person like it's basically like you have no crash helmet on and you're running headlong into a brick wall going how can i get through to the other side it's like you're with the wrong person like it's basically like you have no crash helmet on and you're running headlong into a brick wall going how can i get through to the other side um tell me not do, 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 do. okay so all my loves are ready for the um the communication flow chart so when it comes to communication it's going to branch off into two areas usually it's a statement so something that you say or it's a problem something that you want to present that you want your partner to fix uh so if it's a statement then you're going to branch off again into is it positive or is it negative if it's positive, you say it. If it's negative, you don't say it. And by the way, this communication flow chart, at the very top of the flow chart, starts with choose silence. You need to start with silence because you need to go through the flow chart and think about what you're gonna say before you say it. So the communication flow chart starts with silence and then you think about what you're gonna say. Is it a statement? Or is it a problem? If it's a statement, is it positive or is it negative? If it's positive, you say it. If it's negative, you choose silence again. Let the moment pass. It's going to feel uncomfortable because you're used to saying, you're, you're just used to vomiting whatever comes to mind, right? It, you're gonna get really quiet for a while, you guys, um, because there's gonna be all these moments where you're choosing silence instead of saying something. If it's a problem, the question is, am i the solution if you are not the solution you don't go talk about the problem if you have a solution and you've exercised the solution 
you can talk about the problem while including the solution. Hey baby, I was feeling anxious today, but I'm doing some meditation. It's helping me feel better, not I feel anxious. Because when you say I feel anxious, I feel scared, I need reassurance, you're basically taking your emotional problem and laying it at your partner's feet and going, fix this for me. Now, if you've chosen a selfish short-term thinker, of course you have these problems. They're, they're a trigger. Because selfish short-term thinkers do behaviors that are disconcerting and upsetting and we want them to change. But what needs to change is you, your choice of partner. You need to change who you're choosing. So he has to go, that's what needs to change. You are still the solution to your problem. If you're with a generous long-term thinker, the solution is, how am I going to ease my own emotions? I feel fearful, okay, what are you afraid of? Go through that reasoning. I'm afraid he's gonna leave me. Okay, well, did I choose a trustworthy partner or not? Well, I did, okay. What is it about him that makes you think you chose a trustworthy partner? Go through that thought process. That's your cheat sheet right there. Bring yourself back into reality. Usually these feelings that you wanna talk about are things that are happening in your imagination. Sometimes the things you wanna talk about are things that have actually happened, but again, we gotta be fair. We gotta go through that communication flow chart. How can I be the solution? I wanna to talk to him about this thing that he did wrong, like leaving dishes in the sink. Okay, so this is him who's done something wrong, I need to talk to him. So here we have a scale. I put something on his half of the scale. I got to talk to you about this. Okay, what about my half of the scale? Have I examined that? My question is, have I asked, what am I not asking forgiveness for? And there goes that thing that I know I should be doing better, but he's not saying anything about. So now it's even, I don't have to talk to him about that thing. So there's a lot of conversations that you start not having when you start thinking very carefully about what you're going to say before you say it. Do, 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 do. Let a, guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Who wants a notification when I go live? My husband says he loves me, but isn't in love with me. He says that's normal. Uh, so why don't you start kissing him twice a day? Like two kisses, minimum five seconds each. That'll get the, you know, the, the excitement back into your relationship. Somebody just got the Fix That Shit audiobook. Yes, notifications. Okay, my loves, those of you who want a notification when I go live, uh, click the picture up here. Once or twice, you're gonna get a pop-up. In the pop-up is a bell. Click on that, and when you do, say, I just did. Me. How's the feed, you guys? Is the image, is the sound okay? Is everything working out? Do, 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 do. Hey, uh, all right. Do, do, do. Oh, is that the same one? La, da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Uh, if you're upset about something, how do you approach kindly? I've always got an attitude. Uh, do so do some meditation first if you need to calm your emotions before you approach yes for good sound we are doing the kisses but no change so come get a, a coaching session um, so that we can figure out what's going on just did all great good stuff but yeah if you're gonna approach about something make sure you already have a solution in hand right um, if you're approaching, um, if you're approaching, you know, saying, Hey, you got to fix me. Then, you know, that's why you're so tense because you got to put a problem on his feet and say, be the solution.
how do you rekindle after taking space? We're both ready to work on it for us. Um, I would say you gotta grab fix that shit, gotta start doing what's in that book, showing your gratitude every day, um, exercising the love language towards each other, getting your two kisses in every single day, minimum five seconds each. How's your day? It's an exciting day. I sent my edited book off to the four matters. It's in the final stages, so. It was, a, it was an exciting day. It was a hard working day, but exciting day. What if he doesn't like kisses or much affection? I know it's a red flag. So do you like kisses and affection? If yes, you are literally in the wrong relationship. You need to leave this relationship. Yes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Husband and I are separating with intent to reconcile how to make safe and clear boundaries. Um, like write out your boundaries, right? Like what are your boundaries? Do you know what your boundaries are? Uh, Shawski, Shawski, do you wanna come do a live with me? Do you wanna come live with me? I got my request open. Do you wanna pop into my request? My boyfriend is coming home after five months being awake. Oh, away and I'm nervous and normal. Yeah, sure. You haven't seen him for a long time. He claims he claims he's gonna change. That doesn't mean anything. Saying you're gonna change, like I'm going to change. Well, no, like it starts today, right? So you're changing today. Broke up with my boyfriend today after trying three times. Any advice moving forward, trying to feel okay? I have a book for you, my love. I, there's a combination, Comeback Queen and No More Assholes are really gonna help you move through the breakup and, and really move towards the future. Um, so Comeback Queen helps heal your heart. No More Assholes gets you thinking about what you need to be doing next. What is the single most useful, useful thing you realize to stop your fights and arguments? Meditation. It absolutely starts with meditation because it, it shrinks the part of your brain where stress, fear, and anxiety comes from. So it literally does change you, like absolutely changes you. It took the fight out of me. I didn't have the will to fight anymore. I didn't want to fight anymore. I didn't need to be right anymore. I, I didn't need to deflect anymore. I started taking responsibility for my emotions. I took your advice, so appreciate you answering questions. I feel like it was the right choice. There you go, my love. Which book do you recommend? Uh, the Not to Rebuild Confidence and Fight Insecurities. So if you're in a relationship, the book that's right for you is uh, Fix That Shit. When will you have them all on Audible? No Audible at this point. Audible wants 70%. That's like piracy in my mind, um, right? To take 70% for the amount of work that I put into it. So not on Audible at this point. Uh, you can get Fix That Shit in the link tree in my bio. No More Assholes is being worked on right now. Yeah, you, you can get the audiobook through the link tree in my bio. I just don't use Audible. Uh, do you believe it's better for you to be single in your 20s? However you want to be. However you want to be. Mm -hmm. uh, is it still meditating if you listen while doing something like cleaning or working? Uh, so meditation is the act of, of bringing your focus completely in. So if you're completely in, your, your mind is focused in on the music, um, that can be moving meditation.
are all the, are these the books I wrote? Yes. Um, there's some of them. I actually wrote eight. I actually wrote eight books. Uh, did you ever meditate with your partner? I did at one point. My husband got really super stressed out because he was moving an entire business. Um, thank you. So, uh, so I did meditate with him for a little bit because he was so stressed he wasn't sleeping well. He was, uh, my mom loves your book. Happy birthday, Ariana. I feel like I'm overreactive, really working on it. Didn't used to be, but also need boundaries. So have you started meditating? Um, if this is something you want to work on, do get into fix that shit. Uh, if you're in a relationship or no more assholes, if you're single or you can come get coaching. Um, but you know, like, like you're not going to stop being overreactive because you're like, oh, I want to stop being overreactive. There are things you need to do to change your brain structure that will change how you feel, that will change how you react, which will change your behaviors. I'm good, honey. How are you? Good job. Definitely interested in reading. Do you guys want me to do a book walkthrough? Who wants a book walkthrough? When's a good time to ask a guy to be your boyfriend? The moment you feel you want a relationship. The moment you feel you want a relationship. Does anybody want me to do a book walkthrough? I do. We got an I do. You guys are so cute. Yes. Okay, let's do a quick book walkthrough. So, Come Back Clean is the book that's going to help you get over a breakup, heal your heart. No More Assholes is the one that's going to help you make sure you choose the right partner next time. No More Selfish Short-Term Thinkers. You want to get in a relationship with a long-term thinker, a generous long-term thinker. After the First Kiss is the book that's going to help you transition from courtship phase to reality phase with as little insecurity as possible. It's a lot easier to transition when you know what to expect, when you when you can see the change coming. So I really clue you in to what is going to change as you get into the reality phase with a new partner. Fix that shit is the bug that's going to help you eliminate any fighting in your relationship if you're fighting just a little or if you're fighting a lot, but you're both generous long-term thinkers who love each other. If you do what's in this book, you will stop fighting. My husband and I have been together for 15 years. We fought for 10 years. We haven't had a fight in five years. It's so good, you guys. It's really good. So doing what's in Fix That Shit can really create a lot of magic in your relationship. Custom Made is a book that helps you understand what your purpose is. So you are going to dive into what your talent is. A lot of people don't know this because we have an educational system that distracts us. It gives us a report card and they say, okay, these things that you're good at, don't worry about them. But the stuff that you're not good at, you got to buckle down, you got to focus, you got to work harder and make that something you're good at. So we tend to forget what we're really naturally good at, which is our talent, which should be our passion. It should be our purpose. So there's two questions I answer in here. What is my purpose and how can I monetize it so that I start getting paid doing what you love? Uh, we live in a culture right now that literally doesn't want you to be happy. So reading this book is going to teach you how to be happy working and it's not going to feel like work. Uh, Dating 101, this is a textbook, you guys. This is understanding the drives, behaviors, and emotions behind, behind love. This is an excellent choice for parents to get for their teenagers so that they don't end up needing my coaching services and no more assholes and fix that shit one day. Um, doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Uh, so fake love need not apply. This one is a free uh, book. This one's free. The ebook is free. You can get this through the link tree in my bio. There's a free book button. Uh, so go ahead and check this out. Uh, this is how to avoid posers, losers, scammers, and predators. 
And the last one is say yes to goodness. This one is understanding your life. So 10 areas of your life that affect you and how to navigate each one so that you are happy. Happy, happy. When I read your books, I read them with your voice in my head and it makes the words make more sense. I love it. Tips on getting this on getting over the social anxiety of dating again. Uh, you want to get into no more assholes, my love. That is something that I address how to reduce anxiety because you don't want to be anxious in dating because like attracts like. What am I doing here? Uh, if you have anxious energy when you're dating, you will attract an anxious person and you, you don't want to do that. So definitely something that you want to reduce and of, like I absolutely uh, teach you how to reduce your anxiety and no more assholes. Do you sell your books only online or at any store? You can go to any bookstore and order my books in. What does, why does my ex-girlfriend complain about her ex-boyfriend to me when she's the dumb person she didn't want me to ignore? Do you need to block her so that she stops? Um, because like life begins when you ask the right question, right? Life begins when you ask the right question. You asking yourself this question is a waste of time. You two are not together anymore. You wondering about this is a waste of time. What should you be focusing on instead? Should you be focusing on getting into your next relationship? Do you need to block her because it's it's annoying and it's confusing um, and you want her to get her shit together and stop vomiting this confusion all over the place? When someone is interested in you but says it takes time to get to know someone, it does take time. So use a no kissing for three months dating rule. If they say that and you're kissing and having sex, you are playing right into their games. They're, they're, they're playing your hoping game, your willingness to, to hope the convenience you give them is going to turn this into a relationship. Ooh, waiting on your books from Barnes & Noble. Love it. Uh, which one did you say was for monetizing your purpose? That's custom made. I joined just after you mentioned it. Yes, custom made. I love that the books are explained exactly how you would say it and it makes it feel more one-on-one. -on -one. Yay. Yay. Okay, give me a second, you guys. <laughs> I literally oh well nice baby <laughs> my husband uh, I have to navigate doggy landmines to get back in my seat which book would help my relationship anxiety that would be fixed that shit uh, there's no intimacy at all just friends okay so yeah no kissing no kissing no sex unless it's a committed relationship so that uh is it the little doggy statue on the shelf uh oh yeah <laughs> this little guy right here this little guy right here where'd she go oh there she is uh how do i suddenly uh, encourage my partner of five years to propose you need to create a relationship that is uh, free from conflict because uh, people typically don't want to marry conflict so create a relationship that's free from conflict and have a conversation with them where you say um, so baby remember like when we first got together and we were talking about you know how we each wanted to get married um, so I have been thinking about what my timeline is and I'm wondering if it's lining up with your timeline. Yeah, so Loro, so this is something that's, I don't, I don't have a, a quickie answer and that's what these lives are about. These are, 
about an opportunity to sort of you know teach a lot of people um a bunch of things that you know are like more generalized rather than unpacking uh individual people's situations so if i feel like there's like a learning opportunity to um to do then what i might do is bring somebody in um <clears throat> but this is very particular to you uh so which means i need to go back into your history and into your mind i really need to like open you up and get in you to figure out why uh why you go through this why you experience this Can leave your head on. Do, do. Remember that other guy the other day and gave us that six love language? Physical service. Physical service. I broke up with my man today. He was still texting his old hookups. He told me he did. Good girl. Super smart. Super smart. Goodbye. Goodbye, we don't play with that. Mm -mm. You show us who you are? Okay, noted. Goodbye. Should a lady pay for dinner? Should she expect the date to pay for dinner? So here's the thing. Expectations are the story you create inside your head that disappoint you when they don't come true. We shouldn't be expecting anything from anybody. When somebody does something for us or refuses or doesn't do something for us, this is all noted. So if somebody pays for my dinner if i'm dating and somebody pays for my dinner um you know i i'm i'm grateful for that if they don't i'm like okay scorekeeper got it uh I, you know i've been in a marriage where it was 50 50 i have no problems with that um i'm now in a marriage with somebody who is more than generous i certainly like that that's very motivating for me to be you know extra generous to my partners so i prefer the generous partners because i like stepping up and being generous myself uh so no i don't think anybody should expect anything but i certainly teach people to be observant of people's behaviors so that they understand who the person is in front of them we just ended our three month no kissing rule what is this? On the 10th, I'm so happy with my new man. Kiss was amazing. Oh, congratulations, love. Love it. Went so well, can't wait to continue with them. That's so good. Hello, I'm so good, you're so welcome. Just wanna pop in and say you're really game, you game changed my relationship by reading Fix That Shit. Thank you. If you're sick of the way a guy is treating you, what's the best way to tell him you're done? Uh, the same way he would tell you, right? How would he do it? Use that same approach. Is it normal that my boyfriend makes fun of me with his friends and doesn't mean it in a rude way? It doesn't sound normal. Could be normal for him. Uh, would you say it's a relationship anxiety? My dad was so judgmental and cruel. Maybe that's why. Uh, I don't know, love. I I don't know. I don't know. I'm not unpacking you on the live, though. Uh, I'm sorry. Any advice on how to make time for the bedroom when you don't really see each other? Quick and easy. Uh, but I don't do bedroom stuff on uh, lives. You're so welcome, Shonji. Hello, love, I'm so good. Uh, guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Oh, I think. How do you feel about long distance relationships? I have no feelings about them. These are your choice, right? Um, anybody in a long distance relationship, what you can do is go to my bio, click on the link tree, and there is a long distance relationship guide in there. So I uh, click on that, download the free guide. Um, I don't have a book that's like really gets, you know, deep into the bedroom stuff. Uh, I touch on it briefly and fix that shit. Those of you who want a notification when I go live, 
Click my picture up here once or twice. You're going to get a pop-up in the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell. Already got one. Love it. Sally from Arabia. Uh, how, advice how to deal with special needs kids. Um, that is not my specialty, unfortunately. Boyfriend said he wished you remain friends with his ex. Is that healthy? It's healthier to not hate your ex, I think. Thank you for your wisdom. I feel I learned so much from your lives. You're so welcome. So welcome. Does therapy change someone with anger issues, past trauma, who learns, who leans to substances? So if the therapist doesn't actually give them tools, but just does talk therapy, so in essence, they just go to a therapy session, they talk and then they leave, but the therapist doesn't actually give them tools to use, no. If the, if the person they're talking to gives them tools to use, no. So under, you know, if, if something, like two things need to happen. They have to have somebody who's really good at giving them tools, not just talk therapy. And that person needs to use the tools. Uh, but if, if this is your relationship, if you're with somebody with anger issues, past trauma, and they're a substance abuser, I wouldn't stay in that relationship, my love. This is not a healthy place for you to be. Click the bell. Always love hearing your input. Thank you. You're so welcome. Uh, guys, I see a bunch of you giving me puzzle pieces. I, I can't make sense of what you're saying if it's not all in one box. Do you have any online dating for 60 plus women? So tips, I found men online who use the site to scam women. Of course, of course. Um, you want to uh, grab no more assholes. Um, you can also get your free copy of Fake Love Me Not Apply. You can get that in the link to in my bio. See the free book button in there. Oh, you've helped me so much. You have no idea how much. Thank you. You're so welcome. So welcome. Click the bell. Click the bell. I learned a lot from your videos. Yay. You guys, you're so amazing. Um, waiting for Comeback Queen to come in. Yay. Can't wait to read it. I love it. Uh, I need help. Yes, you can get coaching. Go to my bio. Click on the link tree. There's a coaching button. Click on that, it takes you to a page. Follow the three steps. You can book yourself in for a session. Anybody who needs to gain some clarity on what's going on uh, for them, go ahead and book yourself in for a session. Click that coaching button. If you don't follow the three steps, you haven't booked yourself in for a session. He says he's changing, but he said that before and nothing happened, so why are you staying? right why are you staying don't give me the oh i love him no 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 no. why are you staying like why do you why do you tell yourself this is okay with me bring someone on i know i'm looking for the person who feels right i have to if if it's if it's like this it has to be rapid fire and I, I, have to, I have to get the person that's, it's going to be simple, right? They're not going to be so wrapped up in the story, but we're going to be able to like, you know, really unpack things very quickly. I think a relationship will work if you know when to be patient and when is crossing lines. Hello, Michelle. How do you know if I'm manipulating, taking advantage and the other way around? You really don't know until you start meditating, right? Like you don't know until you start doing what's in fake session and start taking responsibility for your behaviors and start choosing silence first. Um, and, and here's the thing, like if you're with a selfish short-term thinker, it just doesn't matter what you try to do, right? You getting yourself under control doesn't matter because selfish short-term thinkers will constantly trigger you. Should you get back with someone who breaks up with you in a split decision? Uh, I would set a boundary and say, you know, okay, we can continue working on this, but I need you to understand 
that you can't break up with me just because things are feeling difficult. If that's what you want to do, I want you to know the breakup's going to stay because I'm not going to go through an emotional roller coaster. I love your top. Where'd you get it? Le Chateau. It's Le Chateau. Good evening. Uh, how do you know when someone is a narcissist? Narcissists don't care about anybody but themselves. Do you work this for money? Everything is worked for money. You get up every day for money. Everything is money. Money is survival. If you, <laughs> unless, unless other people are paying your way, in which case, you know, wow, you're working the system. But um, yes, all of us are working. All of us are working. Is it right to try to make things work just because you feel bad and you don't want to hurt her? No, because you're keeping her from getting into a relationship with somebody who actually loves her. Yeah, custom made you guys. Like, get into your purpose. Do your purpose because all the quote unquote work you do won't even feel like work. How do I tell them that we are perfect and we can't stay together? Just like that. Break of sandwich. This is why you're great. This is why it's not working. This is why uh, you'll be great for someone else. It's a weird reason to break up with somebody, but go for it. I can't, I, you know, obviously you're not happy. You're not happy, my love, so... You're not happy, you're not looking to be happy, you just want to leave it because it's too uncomfortable for you. Would your relationship with your family affect your relationship with your boyfriend? Never has. Never has. No, I'm too independent to let that happen. His friends are a bad influence with a bad lifestyle if he sticks with them Will he not make progress? Does it look like he's not? Does it look like he prefers to uh, do what they do than move forward? Then be ambitious. Can't wait to talk to you again. Today wasn't the best news, but I'm sure it'll be okay in the end. Yes. Ah! He's cheated and allows me to see messages on his phone when I ask, but doesn't let me hold it myself. Dump the motherfucker. Dump. Dump. Right? Uh, and and here's the thing. You, you, you let him stay without renegotiating the relationship. You didn't properly renegotiate the relationship. Uh, the renegotiation is I need to ease my imagination whenever I want to without asking your permission. For me, that means spyware on your phone linked up to my phone. Anytime I want to see what's going on, I just go see what's going on. Um, but you didn't negotiate that, my love. You, you know, kind of negotiated, but you're not quite sticking to the negotiation. You said, I'll take you back if you let me see your phone. He's not. He's he's managing how you see his phone. So he's still being shady. Um, so don't stay. Obviously, don't stay. Because he's just still doing stuff behind your back. And he's he's just loving how you're just taking it. Like, look at this. She's not going anywhere. I get to go do whatever I want to do. I'm just going to say whatever it takes to appease her. Doesn't take much. Doesn't take much. And she stays. Like, I say she can see my phone. Yeah, you can see my phone, but no, you can't see my phone. But she stays. Why are you staying with this? Why is this standard acceptable to you? Why are you with a selfish short-term thinker? 
it's time to let the selfish short-term thinker go so you can get in a relationship with a generous long-term thinker. Uh, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. If you guys want to gain some clarity on anything, there is a coaching button in the link tree in my bio. Click on that. It takes you to a page. Follow the instructions on the page to book yourself in. He looks like he prefers to be like them, so dump him, right? You're you're not with somebody you can build a life with. Uh I've I've heard about Kevin Samuels. I don't follow him. I don't uh I don't observe what he does or listen to what he does. What are your thoughts on, on Kevin Samuels? How do I get my boyfriend mo motivated? Wrong question. The right question is how do I get in a relationship with a motivated man? Don't get in a relationship with a child and try to parent them into becoming a man. This is this is not your job. They're, they're, his parents should have parented him to the point where he became a man, a responsible, ambitious, hardworking adult. They didn't do their job. It's not your, it's not yours. So get rid of him, get rid of the child because you can't build a life with a child get in a relationship with somebody who's decided to be a man but this is working for him right he's he no oh, we gotta talk about this uh he wants to be a guy and it's working out so you sir do you want to come do you uh do you want to come and uh do a live chat with me about that about motivating motivating your boyfriend how do you motivate your boyfriend do you want to come live with me you're welcome how do you feel about clingy couples? Are they right for you? Uh, you know, people who are clingy together, who are happy together, there's no problem with that, um, right? If, if you're happy, there's no problem. If somebody is too clingy for the other person, now we have conflict. How do you handle a power struggle in a relationship? Uh, read, fix that shit or come get coaching um, to undo that dynamic. Like change, you guys are pushing against each other change one person into an emotional leader, it changes the whole relationship. Every time I tell my boyfriend he hurts me, he says that makes me feel really bad and turns it on him. Is he a selfish short-term thinker or a generous long-term thinker? If you don't know, no more assholes, 12 character traits, great as paper, he needs to get at least a nine out of 12. Uh, if he's a generous long-term thinker, you gotta get into fix that shit and remove the conflict and learn conflict resolution tools. Learn how to communicate properly. Learn how to manage your own emotions. On the second date, we went to his friend's house and he didn't introduce me. Thoughts? Uh, he seriously lacks social skills. He seriously doesn't care uh, about you or who you are or what you think. And that was absolutely evident in his behaviors. Um, I wouldn't do a third date with him. I would not do a third date. Thoughts on open relationships? It works for some people and they're happy and I have nothing against people being happy. My husband never apologizes after a fight and I always have to be the one to say sorry. Uh, so here's the thing. Um, are you taking responsibility for your behaviors? then leave it at that, right? Leave it at that. It only bothers you if your apology was a manipulation and not a gift. Uh, it only bothers you if you're with an abusive person. So which one is it? Which one is it? Are you with a generous long-term thinker who loves you? Are you with somebody who's abusive? Great first date. My copy of Fix That Shit comes in on Sunday. I can't wait. My relationship is already getting better. Yay, my love. Great first date, now less messages, less interest, what to do. You shouldn't just be talking to one person. You should be using a no kissing for three months dating rule. Uh, 
So make a date with him, but make a date with someone else. Make a date with someone else. Talk to more people. Don't just be hyper-focused on one person at a time because you're hyper-focused on their behaviors instead of assessing who's stepping up to get to know you. Uh, have you already talked about going half in the dating stage? Uh, I talk about being reciprocal, not necessarily about, uh, you know, like, oh, we had dinner and your share is $12.50. Uh, watching your lives has really helped me. Thank you. I love that. I, I like, I like people who are generous, right? It's, it's more fun if you catch this one and I'll catch that one kind of thing. How can I have more control of my emotions? I don't someone else's actions to affect my mood. So you got to start meditating. Every time you realize you're riding someone else's roller coaster, you go, wait a second. Fuck you. And then you bring yourself back to you and you redirect to what it is that you need for yourself. Men and women are different. Yes. So the question is, do you believe in feminism or are men and women different? I do you not see. Do we not look different? Do we not have a different biological makeup, testosterone, estrogen? There's we we have different brain structures. So we we certainly are different, right? We are the same species. But biologically speaking, physically speaking, mentally speaking, we, we don't process in the same way. Um, so, you know, there are differences. Uh, fe the only reason why there's feminism is because there is repression. So, yes, I believe in feminism because I fight against repression. Uh, 100%. 100%. But I don't think feminism is just about women. I think males are repressed as well. And I think the patriarchy does as much to squash men as it does to squash women because the more unhappy the dynamic is, the more purchasing takes place. And that's what the patriarchy wants. It's lots of, lots of people making money and spending their money. You're welcome. Uh, how would you heal yourself after he cheats? <laughs> by dumping the motherfucker right so uh dumping the motherfucker getting with my friends having some drinks crying yelling screaming laughing purging my house of all of his stuff that's how i would get myself over it go through my emotions surround myself with people who love me When I bring up the no kissing for three months, men are running away like crazy. No, my love, guys are running away. You are literally weeding out the guys. Men don't run away. A man who's looking for a relationship, who's interested in you and feels like you have potential is not going to run away. You are weeding out the guys so that that man can see you because you're not surrounded by guys. If you didn't bring this up, so you you meet up with somebody and you don't bring up the no kissing for three months dating rule. You think he's good enough. You kiss him shortly after, one date, two date, three dates. Now you're looking over here. The generous long-term thinker who wants a relationship can't get your attention because you're looking over here. Uh, so you're making sure you're not distracted by selfish short-term thinkers. Tips on healthy communication after arguments. You got to get into fix that shit, my love. It's, 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 listen, it's not about what happens during an argument. It's not about what happens after an argument. It's everything that's done around the argument. Everything that's done before the argument, healthy, this healthy communication after an argument, the argument is the sickness, right? So instead of jumping to symptoms and how we're going to heal symptoms, let's go to how we're going to heal the core source, which is the argument, uh, and eliminate those arguments. How long would you recommend meditation? Minimum 20 minutes a day. 
definitely lots of toxic masculinity out there. I do feel about a five year age gap. Age gaps don't matter as long as the youngest is 24, 25. Uh, I just asked my husband if he was dating again and a woman said no kiss. Is that okay? He said yes, of course. Of course. Men don't have a problem, you know, waiting for something that they want. Guys have a problem with that because guys are selfish short-term thinkers. Thank you so much for all your guidance. My relationship has improved so much because of your advice. I love it. Um, Guys, who wants to do something for me? Who who wants who wants to who wants to love me? Does anybody want to love me? Tips for no kissing for three months, especially when it's someone you kissed and dated before. Um, you you already know who that is, right? The no kissing for three months dating rule is I don't know. Kissing for three months dating rule is I don't know you. I just met you on Tinder. I just met you on Bumble. I'm not going to kiss you on the fourth date because, you know, society says I should. I'm looking for, I just met you on Bumble. I'm thinking it's going to take me some time to figure out if that's what you are. Do you think it's possible to kiss if you don't get attached to people easily? Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Could you do 10 minutes in the morning and 10 in the evening? Of course, absolutely, as long as you get your minutes in. Nope. Uh, first time back in the live in a month, worked on being custom made, happy to be back, love it. What did you figure out, my love? What did you figure out? My feet is definitely slow. What are the minutes? 20 minutes a day meditation minimum. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. I opened my own business to keep myself busy and started enjoying the little things in life. I love this. That's beautiful. When a guy continues to text, but he was one that called to quiz, never talk about your life as though you have no control. Are his texts interrupting your day? Are they interrupting your happiness? Does does it put you in a spin? Block him. Love the dress. Thank you. Uh, love loves. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna head out. Um, I'm gonna take my babies for a walk and then come back. To